Myself and Linda just met with the Victims Commissioner Judith Thompson and we had a very good exchange of views, particularly for myself, around the implications of victims uh, that Brexit is going to have on their lives. Not many people talk about Brexit in the context of what it will do for victims here in terms of the services that they need that is funded by the EU, not just through peace funding, but a whole host of funding, but the protections that they have particularly around the uh, Victims Directive and other mechanisms that are in place by the EU to make sure the victims here are protected. We have talked about the need for funding. Obviously, people will know that coming out of the negotiations that Linda and others played a crucial role in trying to secure funding for the Stormont House Agreement, for the Lord Chief Justice, for coroner's inquest, for a range of issues that victims desperately need to see mechanism put, put in place so that they will all be treated equally and fairly and justly and their common needs of all of the victims will be dealt with by all of us. So I have pledged as the MEP in the North who is fighting against Brexit in the European Parliament to explain to the MEPs in the Parliament the implications that Brexit has and will have on victims and the services here that is trying to advocate so carefully and I think effectively and efficiently on their behalf. I've had a number of engagements with the Victims Commissioner and at each one of those engagements it's very clear that we're on the same page in terms of much of the, many of the issues that face the victims in terms of the consultation on the mechanisms. It's extremely important that we get that consultation out there. Victims need to know what are in those mechanisms and whether or not it meets their needs and until they actually are part of the consultation process they aren't going to know that. So I think that that's the first step, that's the step that we need to happen next and it needs to happen now. Sinn Féin, Gwananis, Carta Agus Eintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.